I'm professional organizer Amy Vance with Eco Modern Concierge here in Houston, Texas. Today I thought I'd go over some books, um, organizing books that I think will be helpful to you. These are not all the ones that I have and not all the ones that I would recommend, uh, just a select few. So at the end, if you have some that you really love, please send me a message or comment and let me know what you like. Um, to start it off, okay, we'll just start off with this one because this has been super popular lately. Um, in the last couple of years, the life-changing magic of tidying up. So in the professional organizing world, <laughs> people either love her um, and the concepts or they don't care for the concepts. So uh, my opinion is there are some good tips here and there, uh, but it's not my favorite and I just don't see several people or clients that I work with ever following these principles. But um, it's great to help you declutter and get in the thought of things for sure. The Power of Less. Oh, I love this book. This is basically talking about how less is more. And um, if you don't follow Leo's blog, you really should because he always provides some really great tips. And I, I really like this book. Uh, New Order, Decluttering Handbook for Creative Folks and Everyone Else. So this is a great um, book. She really goes through and gives like simple tips on how to uh, declutter and um, simple things that you can do. So like this one is the triangle of productivity, the concept, everything that requires attention should find its way into one of three holy places, your email box, your calendar, or your to-do list. So this is kind of going over, um, you know, whatever section this is about productivity. And she just gives various tips and it's great. And I, I really like this book a lot. Um, organizing from the right side of the brain, a creative approach to getting organized. This is a great book um, for all the creatives out there, and um, you know I, I have some great tips all throughout here. So I definitely recommend and uh, you check it out. Ten simple solutions to adult ADD. This has really helped some of my ADD clients. And actually, an ADD client of mine gave this to me years ago, or, or recommended this to me years ago, and so I got it. And it really does have some simple solutions, and is a great way to start thinking about getting organized. And since I work with ADD clients often, um, I, I find it very helpful, and I recommend that they read it as well. Never too busy to cure clutter. More than 365 tips to make room for what's truly important. What I really like about this book is she goes through and talks about different things like 30 seconds to do something, one minute, things that you can do in one minute, things you can do in five, and things you can do in 15. So these are all great tips and it kind of breaks it down into sections. It makes it easy to obtain and um, stick with. So I, I like that one as well. All right, good old Martha Stewart. So she has, um, this is an older book, um, but it still has some fun, great solutions and tips uh, throughout it. And as you know, I've said before, uh, with organizing books, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel because there's only so many times you can say certain things. But usually through the books, I can find different tips here and there that I wouldn't find in other books. So I really like it. This one is Remodelista. It's a newer book and it goes through and it has pictures and this gives you some great storage solutions um, and things that you don't always think of. And then if you know anything about Remodelista, at the back they have lists of resources and where you can buy things in the pictures. So it makes it easy to find what you're looking for and what you want. So I, I really like this one that just came out. This is super brand new as well. The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. Um, how to free yourself and your family from a lifetime of clutter. So this is great, uh, you know, if you're working with estates or if you're thinking about just preparing for the future, I recommend this book. And if you know anything about, uh, you know, estate, if you had to deal with an estate of someone who has passing, you know it's a difficult task a lot of times getting things organized and finding where certain stuff is. So this one, and then along with uh, that is this one, get it together, organize your records so your family won't have to. Um, and this is a, kind of along the same lines of the Swedish death cleaning and, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's just helpful to get things organized just in case a lot of times. So I often work with people, um, uh, in different states. So, and after people have passed, so it's, uh, these things are helpful to think about organizing plain and simple. Just like it says, it just gives various tips on different areas of the home and just simple organization solutions. So this is great for anybody who just needs the very basic of really getting started. And then the complete book of home organization. 
I really like this book because she has lots of pictures and she has lots of good tips too. So, and some of it is things that you haven't thought of. And for people who are visual, these are great um, to go through because you can kind of see down here at the office or the junk drawer. She shows you how she divides it out and then um, various other things. So I hope these uh, books are stuff that maybe you find helpful or will find helpful and maybe you already have them. And um, I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback of what your takeaway is from some of these books or which ones you really like. Uh, you can follow us at our website, ecomodernconcierge.com or head to our social sites like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and follow us there at Eco Modern Concierge. Or you can send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at ecomodernconcierge.com or give us a call at 281-961-1914. And I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.